Okay, so we're looking at uh, a unit again from 2005, and it looks like uh, a science type task, but again, hopefully you've rec recognised that you don't actually have to study a particular subject to have us the skills to get through this. So um, in this particular question, I think the skills are uh, reading. There's a lot of text, but most of the text isn't crucial to the question. Um, again, when you see numbers, you've got to realise that there's probably patterns between the numbers. Uh, when we get to the questions, we're going to be looking for the distractors and maybe test possible solutions. And you don't panic that you know nothing about planets. Okay, so if you have a look at this first question, have a read the text, uh, have a look at the diagram. The diagram does give you information, but again, uh, just have a look at the first question, and when you're ready, have a crack at it. So in this particular question, we've got some information, uh, the first of a pair of, of uh, December transits. So if you look, for instance, that might be the first of a pair. And what this question is actually asking us to do is find the next June by looking at the pattern. Okay, so let's have a look at my solution. Okay, so you should have seen that the data comes in pairs. So there's two Decembers and then there's two June, Junes. And if you look at any particular pair of Decembers, for instance, the first one, um, we've got the next June transit will be 1761. And if you look at the difference between those two numbers, you get 130 years. So if the first December transit was 2846 and you add 130 years, you get 2976. And that was one of the distractors. And Marichi students did well. Three quarters of the students got it right. But again, most ACT students also got it right, so there was no advantage. Okay, so this one, that one's straightforward. Let's have a look at the next question. Okay, so question 20. And we've got the, I've uh, brought the table back in again for this question. So which of the following years will there not be a transit? So obviously the word not is very, very important. So again, we've got to find patterns between the given data and then check possible solutions and obviously this one, there'll be three answers that are right and there's one answer that's not right. So can you have a look and have a crack again? You're trying to do these questions in under two minutes. So when you're ready, have a go. Okay, so hopefully you've had a go and let's have a look at how I've explained it. So in between uh, all the pattern, uh, between the transit says pattern. So in between the Decembers, there's an eight year gap. In between the June, there's an eight year gap. And between the first December, and the first June, there's a 130 year gap. So there's always gonna be patterns. So in the table, the last number you were given was 2117, which was the first of the December. Okay, then you add eight years, it's 2125. That's not one of the distractors, so we can ignore that. Um, go back to 2117, add 130 years, you get 2247. Add eight years to 2255, and we should have enough information now. So, for instance, in question A, 2230 uh, got skipped past when you went through the December, June. So 2230 got skipped past. 2247 is one of the answers. 2255 is one of the answers. We, we could check this answer, but we don't need to check it because A was already not there. Um, in this particular question, not a good result. 42% of Marici versus 62% for the states. So this is one where, again, don't get overwhelmed by numbers, you're looking for patterns. So we're looking at the next question, and I'll give you a chance to have a read. Um, we've got to go through the choices. Um, if you're not sure what preceding means, use your dictionary, because you're allowed to have dictionaries for all AST tests. So when you have a read, have a read through it, and when you're ready, have a go. And then when you're ready, have a look at my explanation. Okay, so we're back again, and uh, information here, that I forgot to obviously point out was that gap of 243 years. And so I'm going to use that gap as an add rather than a subtract when I look at my explanation. So if you look at choice A, um, the distractor didn't say which June transit, but the closest preceding, we want E in preceding, the closest preceding is 1639. So I add 1639 and 243, I get 1882. So that answer is not correct. And we, as you go through each of the distractors, um, you end up with C being the right answer. And this was a little bit better. We were close to the state average. And 
hopefully had a, go a good go at that again. It's not that hard if you're just being careful. The problem is you don't have a lot of time sometimes. And, okay, we've got another one with this thing about a gap again. So I'm going to be, that's gap of 251. So I'll just make sure you can see that again. The gap is 251. Um, this time we've got... Uh, these other clues, you know, ups and downs. So again, you've got to use the diagram and have a go and just go through the distractors and eliminate any wrong answers. So when you ready, have a crack and look at my answer in the next, on the next slide. Okay, so in this particular one, um, you've got the information. Different halves of the sun, both upwards, for instance, 1631 and 1639. Uh, they're both going up, but one's on the top half. This one's on the top half. This one's on the bottom half, okay? And if you add 251, you get 1882, uh, which is one of the answers. So you don't need to test any other solution. Um, I'd say by this stage, with only half the students getting it right, even in Marichi or the state, um, people are most likely just getting tired of the reading. But these are the sort of questions if we can get more people to get them right, that's a big difference in our final results. And I think that's the last question in the block. So thanks for that and come back for another AST practice when you can.